All right, guys, we're doing another weekly update. Today is, let's see, 626. So we're June 26. It's just 11 o'clock just now. So you're seeing this in an hour from now. And basically, I wanted to do a different type of update. So normally I'm walking around, but instead I thought, you know what, let's just go ahead and set up the tripod so we don't have a bunch of shaky video footage. And I can talk about a couple of things. It's going to be a pretty short update, but uh, let's get into it. So first of all, if you guys haven't seen the most previous episode 15 of Building Vietnam in Lego. Definitely go check that out. I'll put a link in the card section. That video is going really well. It's got like 15,000 views, so I really appreciate everyone that's checked it out already. And uh, it's continuing to grow in popularity, so I'm really happy about that. And then also, did a really cool video on Tuesday's video. So if you guys don't know, if you're new to the channel, I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. So every Sunday, it's my mock series, which is the big Vietnam battle I'm working on. I'm basically replicating a Vietnam battle in Lego, and every Sunday, I post a new video about that. And then the Tuesdays and the Thursdays is normally when I review custom military figures or accessories or something of the, the, of the sort, right? And... I wanted to try this idea for the longest time and basically what I did was I created, it was this figure right here, I created this custom figure in five minutes. So what I did was I did a time lapse of me looking for the parts and putting this together in five minutes and then I went ahead and did a review of it. And I think you guys like that video. It's got like almost 200 likes, 4,000 views in I think a couple days. and. That normally doesn't happen, so I think you guys really like that. So go ahead, if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll put a link to that up in the card section as well. Definitely go check that out. If you guys enjoy that type of video, let me know, not only in the comments on this video, but go watch that video and let me know over there. And uh, I already have another one pre-recorded. I'm not gonna show you the figure, um, but it might be in the background somewhere here, so I'm not gonna tell you, but you're gonna have to look for it. And um, so I did that, that was a big success, so I'll be posting another one of those next week, probably for Tuesday's video again, so look out for that. And then a lot of new stuff coming as far as the new products go, like the RPGs and the AK-47s, so I'm really excited about that. And then, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm working on potentially redoing my Lego room, and if I do a, so let's back up. The five minute figure builds, I want to expand on that and I want to do like maybe a 20 minute figure build, but I'm like maybe like painting the figure. Like, you know, for example, this is a custom painted figure. So for example, oh, let's back up again. This is a figure of just combination. So I basically taking a bunch of third party parts and making a figure. This one's that same concept, but there's a lot of custom painting involved. I wanna do the same thing, maybe like a 20 minute custom painting figure challenge. And I wanna do that. And the way I'm reorganizing my Lego room might give me a way to like do a better camera angle and maybe have a camera of like showing my whole body and face of me painting it. And then also in the corner of the video, like down there, have a smaller video of like an up close of what I'm doing. It might just be different and it'll give more of a studio vibe to the Lego room and I'm really excited about that. I still gotta think it through in my head first, but uh, once that, if that happens, first of all, that would be really cool. But I think I can work with what I got for now, but let me know, like I said, if you guys enjoy those types of videos because I think it's different and I think it's cool and fun. So I'm hoping you guys maybe will even try doing the same challenge and posting your videos here on YouTube. But like I said, we might have to come up with a hashtag or something so I can find them and check them out and maybe share them around. But uh, yeah. Everything else has been going good. I'm just very, bu very busy with the new website. I, like I said, I've been redoing a lot. And uh, yeah, everything else is going good. I'm really excited. I gotta clean up this a little bit. It's kind of full of custom figures and whatnot, but uh, a lot of cool figures here. And uh, another thing I wanted to mention, thank you for all the support on the Mark V Halo Armor. This is my own custom Halo Armor, and it's been selling very, it's been very popular recently, so I appreciate it. We have the classic three colors there, red, blue, and olive. And then I have probably 10 more colors to choose from, but those are the main ones. So I appreciate you guys buying that. It really means a lot, because um, a lot of hard work went into those, um, developing that armor. But I'm gonna end it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the continuous support. We've gained like, it's been like 800 subscribers in the past week, which is crazy. It's like over 100 a day. And uh, I really appreciate it. So like I said, to all the new people watching this, I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. 
and uh, it'd be great if you guys could subscribe. My goal is 75,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I think we're gonna be able to hit that. So I'm very excited, and if we can hit 80, that'd even be better, and I wanna do a big giveaway, so let me know what you guys want me to give away in the comments down below, but other than that, check out some more videos right here and here. And uh, yeah, I'll put the link to the Vietnam episode 15 here, and I'll put a link to the five minute fee figure build right there, and then subscribe by clicking right there so you don't miss another video. All right guys, take care, take easy, take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.